Hello everybody. For those of you that have been following my repair videos, namely my uh, furnace repair, the old furnace I worked on, yeah. you're looking at the, uh, the blower motor. Yep, this is the official blower motor that starred in that picture. Mm -hmm. And you might be asking yourself, why is it sitting here? Well, if you listen closely, this motor had a rather distinctive whine or hum when it started up. Didn't think anything of it. Um, then later on, went back to clean out the A-coils and the blower itself because I took the blower out looked at it and the fins on the squirrel cage were plugged. Long and short of it is, I went to flip the switch on it and uh, the motor would start to, to ramp up, but I never heard the centrifugal switch kick out on it, and the lights would get bright, dim, bright, dim, bright, dim. You could hear it, it was just, it was not switching from your start winding to your run winding. So I took the belt off, and the belt in the first place was loose. I mean, I could take it, pull it like that, and it would slip on the pulleys, and I just couldn't figure it out. Well, you can kind of hear it now, but I only have two of the bolts in it that belong. But you can hear, it runs. It's running okay, it's vibrating a little bit, but you might be thinking, what the heck's wrong with it? Switch kicks out. Switch engages. Think about that for a minute. What's wrong with this motor? It's running fine with a cord on it, but as soon as you put any torque on it, nothing, nada. It won't ramp up, it won't, uh, you don't hear that distinctive click of the switch going from start to run. It will not do it. But think about it, what's wrong with it? Okay, now that you've had some time to think, let me give you a hint. See the screw? Look at the end of that. Look at the end of that. It's been cut. Well, I'm going to show you what's wrong with it, and that took me forever. So that's hint number one. I don't think these bolts are part of this motor. And I've seen a lot of marathon motors. But then, I opened it up. I figured. Maybe the switch, you don't want to do this if it's a good motor. You can pry it, but this motor's scrapping, we'll see why. Okay. And the first thing you do is you carefully pull the shaft up. And some other blower motors have a keeper ring that snaps into a groove on here. This is a pressed fit bushing. In place, didn't move. Peripheral switch is right where it is. You can see the wear marks. Everything's all fine and dandy on this. Again, don't do that with delicate parts. They're parts you plan to keep. So anyway, I proceeded, I take the back off this motor. And what you're looking at is the actual switch. This is a centrifugal mechanism right here that uh, when it's in a ready to um, a stop state, this is pushing back on your switch like this. So your start windings are energized. Now when this ramps up to speed, see if I can get it to do it here. That draws in. This finger slides up and hits the run contact. And when it was running, what it was doing is this was sitting in there going like this. So uh, the motor heated up a little bit. Now you can see this is burnt. So I thought, okay, maybe bad contact. If you look in this motor here, the windings are fairly healthy. You can tell I got the start windings warm, but they're not burnt. I don't trust the information on it because it's it's been deckered with. And here's one hint. Look in the front, see that black residue? Some of that's dirt. 
and I looked and I looked and I looked and I just couldn't figure out why this motor had no torque. If you look right here above my thumb now, you see that spot? That's a spot where one, two, at least two passes of the start winding shorted together. And there goes your startup torque right there. As I said, the question is, what caused it? And this cord here, even though it's 18 gauge, I've been using this for years to test these motors. It's plenty big enough to run one. And that cord was getting hot. As soon as I put the other one on it, that blower kicked up and it started blowing like gone with the wind, baby. I'm telling you. This has been going bad. But it looks like someone shoved a screwdriver in there. Tell me what you think. Thanks for watching.